Hey, we're getting ready. We're going live. We're going live. We're, we're live. We're live. How are you guys doing? Welcome to the show. It's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. Welcome back to my uh, channel and my daily live stream. Uh, well, almost daily, daily, isn't it? Uh, six days a week I'm on here. Uh, Monday to Friday, I'm on at 5 o'clock uh, Eastern time. And Tuesdays and Thursdays, I throw in a second show at 8 o'clock Eastern time. So I just can't get enough of this stuff. And I got nothing better to do. I might as well just talk to you. <laughs> Saturdays, two o'clock Eastern time, and uh, uh, I always have a good time on the Saturday show. Uh, as a matter of fact, I have a good time on all my shows. I really enjoy doing this. How are you guys doing? Uh, how are you? How you been? Uh, it's Wednesday, April the twenty fifth, two thousand eighteen. Welcome to my show. Uh, it always fascinates me watching a couple of minutes before I go on the air. Uh, how many people are waiting for my show to start? Uh, it used to be uh, when I first started this, there were like two, <laughs> two, three, um, and now it's kind of like eight, ten, twelve, and, and then I watch my uh, I watch my count sort of pick up as I start yapping away here, and it immediately gets like 12, 15, 18, 20, uh, immediately twenty people are on the show, and it's great. I, I love it. Uh, I have my uh, I have my regulars who like to watch, and I get discovered by new people um, almost every day, and I think that is fantastic. I want this show to grow in size, and I, I hope it uh, it entertains you and it uh, uh, allows you to uh, to uh, just forget about uh, your daily troubles and just let's talk about cruising and cruise ships and traveling or and whatever else we want to talk about. Uh, we're not here to uh, and upset anybody and uh, uh, talk about the latest uh, exploits in Washington or here in Canada in Ottawa or anything like that. We're just just talking about good stuff, going on a cruise. Um, I uh, I was wondering today. I, I wasn't sure what I was going to talk about today. I uh, uh, for hours, <laughs> hours, hours and hours. I was sitting around here going, "What am I going to talk about today?" I don't I don't know what to talk about. I, I, you know, there's no disaster at sea going on right now. Saying so there's nothing, you know, nothing for me to get all excited about. Uh, what am I going to do? And uh, and then uh, I was looking around a little bit and uh, came across something that I, I know I'll talk about. I know what I'm going to talk about. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, I'll bring that up in a minute, <laughs> but I've got a topic that we can definitely talk about and that uh, we can go on for. And then, uh, I was going to make a video today and I tried to do a, I tried to do a take, um, uh, for those of you who, you know, know me or know my, my channel, uh, I, I make different kinds of videos. Uh, they're all kind of low quality though. I mean, I, I'm either talking to you like this. Uh, or like a live, or I'm talking to you like this on a pre-recorded, and there might be some photos up here that I, like I might kind of move over here and have some photos pop up here, um, that kind of thing. And then I do another kind of video where I'll, I'll have a picture shown uh, that that's all you'll see is a photo or a video, and then you'll hear my voice as a voiceover. And that's essentially what you know what videos are, unless I'm you know I'm walking around the neighborhood with a camera, and then it'll be jiggling, and we're not gonna like that. Uh, I wouldn't mind walking being walking around on a cruise ship uh, doing it with a gimbal, of course, keeping a nice steady picture, but uh, that's for another time. Uh, but anyway, uh, I was trying to do a video today where I would just do a voiceover. I would just talk, and then I would uh, over – on top of that, I would put photographs or videos, uh, you know, on top of my voice. And so I did a, uh, I did a take uh, on, a, uh, on a video today and because uh, I'm always thinking about uh, – the new cruisers out there, the new ones, uh, th those who've never cruised before, they're thinking about going on a cruise. And I remember when I was the the newbie, I uh, hadn't been on a you know proper cruise ship before. I'd been on an ocean liner as a child, but not on a uh, one week cruise or anything like that. And I thought, uh, wow, you know, I sure would like to find a video that you know answers my concerns or gives me information that I hadn't even thought about. And um, that was what I was thinking about today. I was thinking about the newbies out there who come to this telecast. And if you're a new cruiser, you're, you're thinking about going on a cruise, you've come to the right place. This channel and this show is definitely for you. You'll learn all kinds of stuff about going on a cruise here. Anyway, uh, I was thinking about that and I thought, well, I'll do a, I'll do a video about uh, you know what to do on your first day, uh, embarkation day. Uh, as soon as you get on the ship, what are the top 10 things you should think about doing? And I, I went through it, I, I went for 15 minutes. <laughs> And all I have are, are 10 little bullet points on a piece of paper. And I just kind of glance at them and I just start yapping and I fill in the color commentary. I guess I, guess I would have been, I would have been a good color man. Maybe, uh, maybe not the play by play guy, but I could have been a color man. You know. Uh, anyway, so uh, I was doing that today and, and I didn't like it. 
I did I did one 15 minutes long, and it's good. It's okay, uh, but I, I don't like the way it came through, and uh, I'm going to have to do it again. But now I'm changing my mind. I don't think I'm going to do a voiceover kind of video. I think I'll do the one where you, you see me like this or and like this, sitting sideways with room over here for photos. And then I'll, I'll just have photos and, and images of what it is I'm talking about, you know, for embarkation day. But making a video is, is a, it's a bit of a trick, you know, you want to get it right. Because I think, I think about the viewer, I think about you guys, uh, uh, the viewer out there has got to find it somewhat entertaining, but certainly informative. And uh, it has to have a flow and uh, then you can do it. But if you just, if you just haven't got that, if you just don't have the mojo, you can't you can't do it you just you, you're all all intentions are good but uh, sometimes you just can't drop the video on when you want to do it so maybe tonight or maybe tomorrow morning i'll uh, make one and uh, i'll get it up there but I, I have a few other videos kind of circulating in my mind right now that i'm thinking of doing um we'll see what happens now today uh, i just wanted to mention um uh again with the help of one of my uh, most fabulous uh subscribers uh with, with the help of one of my most fabulous subscribers and viewers uh a couple more logos have popped up on my uh on my on my store on my uh my is it my i store do i call it that or do i call it the e store or do i call it the traveling with bruce shop <laughs> i don't know what to call it i guess traveling with bruce store is probably a way to go it's the one where if you go up here on the upper right there's a red button on the far right it's called red bubble you click on it, you go to my Redbubble store, the, the Traveling with Bruce Redbubble store, and there are now five different logos um, with sh that have shirts. Uh, we've put these logos on shirts and uh, on, uh, on coffee mugs and travel mugs and uh, women's shirts and hoodies and uh, sweatshirts and uh, uh, tank tops and uh, pillowcases, uh, stickers. That's all kinds of stuff. And uh, there are now five logos for you to enjoy and peruse over. Father's Day is coming. So if any of you out there are wondering, what am I going to get, Dad? And lately, all he's been doing is talking about traveling with Bruce. Maybe get Dad a, a sweatshirt or a T-shirt or a coffee mug and a T-shirt. You know, have him wear some of the swag. Um, same with Mom for Mother's Day, although, you know, Mother's I think chocolates and flowers are a pretty safe bet. I don't know about traveling with Bruce Merch, but it all depends on the person, doesn't it? So if you know someone that uh, would enjoy having a, a traveling with Bruce, a Bruce uh, Memento, uh, check out the items. I got five logos up. I I want to have like twenty of them. I, I really I want to have a gazillion different logos up for the channel. Got a couple of other designs in the works right now. Uh, and so over the next week or so, I might be able to add another couple here, a couple there. And I'll just keep adding them until until there's a design out there that is just so great that uh, it'll just, you know, if it just sells like crazy, fantastic. But we're not married to it. Uh, we just, I just make these, uh, get these logos made up. I, I put in my two bits worth. I have my, 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 uh, my deep undercover helper uh doing this work and I, i'm just so appreciative uh i really really appreciate it anyway so uh check out the store and let's see what you think um now what uh, what else is i gonna say uh youtube wise uh uh nothing new on youtube really on the front uh the channel it's plugging along it's kind of slow days for me i have to have to admit my channel is kind of slow right now it's not exploding or anything like that it's kind of leveling off and just meandering um, haven't added many subscribers in the last couple of days. I'm right now at 1834, 1835 in that neighborhood. We're not going anywhere. Um, but then again, I don't throw um, watermelons off of balconies landing on car hoods and making all kinds of slow motion videos like that. I talk about cruising and cruise ships and uh, there is a season to it perhaps. And maybe there's a bit of a high and a low. Um, I did do a show last night, uh, the two shows last night, but the last, the late show last night, the primetime show, was the trivia show and uh i'm finding that i have a diehard group of viewers that really are enjoying the trivia and i put the question out there uh, what trivia should you uh, would you like to do uh i've been concentrating on geography <laughs> cities and countries and and that kind of thing but uh, i can go you know other directions but uh, if you have any favorite topics you want me to try and put trivia together for i'll see what i can do uh, 
<laughs> trivia shows, I don't know if they'll ever get thousands of viewers, but I got a, I got a core of viewers that love the trivia. So that's great. Um, so I'll keep doing that. Tomorrow's show, I'll, I'll be on tomorrow twice at 5 and 8. And tomorrow night's show at 8 o'clock, definitely we'll have trivia. For sure. We'll have trivia. I get a kick out of doing it. It's just so much fun. I feel like a game show host, though. <laughs> I just don't have any prizes. <laughs> Anyway, it's a lot of fun, and uh, and we get a kick out of it. It's light, and uh, boy, uh, the hour goes by just like that. It's unbelievable how fast the time goes, and it's uh, it's just great. All right, um, today's topic, I'm going to throw it at you, and then you can throw me your comments on this. I'm going to say hi to everybody in the meantime, but think about this. Here's your topic, uh, um, the, uh, the uh, seven signs or signs that you need to cruise. What signs are there that uh, trigger you to think, "Oh, I, I need a cruise"? What What is it? Is it so, some someone said something? Uh, <laughs> your Your mother in law's coming over for a week long visit. I need a cruise, man. I gotta get out of town. Uh, what is it that uh, triggers your uh, your need for a cruise? Is there any one thing that does it? Uh, a series of things, uh, feelings. Uh, Time of year, uh, weather, uh, what? Let me know. Uh, you can throw in your comments out all you want. I've got I've got a list here, and I'll read them off a little later. Uh, yeah, there are there are signs that pop up where you all of a sudden you go, that's it. I'm booking a cruise. That's, I've had enough of this. I'm out of here. Uh, let's say hi to everybody. <laughs> Tom Eaton uh, popped in here at uh, 3.40 this afternoon, an hour and 20 minutes before showtime. <laughs> It said, uh, hey, hello, Bruce and all. Uh, Sunny and 82 in Jacksonville, Florida, 17 days and counting till we board the Carnival Elation on May the 12th. I can't wait. Uh, right on, man. 17 days. That'll go pretty fast. Peter Heckham is also here. Peter was saying, hi, Bruce. Another beautiful day in Tarpon Springs, Florida. Our temperature today is 84 degrees with lots of sun. Uh, fun trivia evening last night. Really enjoyed it. There you go. Uh, we had a good time. Uh, Tracy Dunlop is here. Hi, Bruce. And everyone, great day in Naples, Florida. Sunny and 79 right now. That's good. Oh, by the way, here in Cresta, got to tell you, oh, it's just short of 70 degrees. It's like 69, 70 degrees here. Absolutely clear blue sky, third day in a row. Uh, the snow, even on the mountains, are, are burning off quickly. It is gorgeous. Just Gorgeous. Although we do get into the 90s and 100s in the summer in July, we'll get hot. Uh, but um, right now, this is that glorious time of year where we're beginning to hit these 60s and 70s. And soon we'll get into the mid, -up, mid to upper 70s. Fantastic. So, Tracy, nice weather where you are, nice weather where I am. Uh, same in, with Pamela Jordan uh, uh, in the same. Hi, Bruce, everyone. Mostly sunny 71 in Iva, South Carolina. Pamela, that is great stuff. A silo is here from Seattle. Hey, Bruce and all. It is sunny again uh, with a breeze in Seattle. And uh, I'll tell you, it's sunny in Seattle, you take it. <laughs> you take it and run, baby. 71 for the high, 52 for the low, just about like what we have here. It may hit 80 tomorrow. Wow, that's warmer than we're going to get. 185 days till the beautiful NCL Bliss and the Haven. I think I've watched every new video. I can't wait. He's scouting every video there is on the Bliss. Uh, don't worry. There are more coming. Uh, it's on the way to New York right now. Uh, it's in the Atlantic. And uh, when it hits New York, uh, there will be videos like you can't believe on the Bliss from all over the place from uh, established media and uh, from uh, travel agents, YouTubers. Oh, that, that ship's going to be inundated with folks taking videos. Leslie, uh, Leslie Lovelies is here. Hello, Bruce and gang. It's 61 degrees Fahrenheit in Allentown, Pennsylvania. That's a little better than the last couple of days for sure. Welcome back, Leslie. Uh, Debbie Manuel is also here. Hi, Bruce. And everyone, sunny and warm, 80 so far in Chico today. 65 and a half days till bliss. Oh, yeah, just over two months, and you're on a cruise, Debbie. Fantastic. That's awesome. Seakeeper is here. Hi, Bruce. And all gloriously sunny here in Tequista, Florida, 88 degree Fahrenheit in the shade. Slight breeze and very enjoyable. Thumbs up. That's pretty good weather. That's pretty nice in the shade. 88, bit of a breeze. Oh, it doesn't get better than that. That's awesome stuff. Silo is saying, getting closer, Debbie. Have you been binge watching new bliss videos? <laughs> So nice. That's what I'd be doing too. Paul Willigas, hi Bruce, and all 58 and still a little rainy here in Virginia. Well, you know, uh, 
kind of the end of the springtime, but uh, the reward is just around the corner. I know it. I can feel it. It's coming. Charles Jordan, hello all. Captain uh, Gans is saying that was a great video. Uh, Captain Gans, that was a great video. Which one? <laughs> What, which one was the great video? Scott Batchley. Hi, everyone. Uh, another nice day in Ventura. Uh, beautiful, uh, Scott. That sounds great. Bob Hollis is here. Hi, Bruce. And all 68 overcast in Atlanta today. Uh, that's, uh, again, getting warmer and warmer every day. Debbie Manuel Salo. Oh, yes, I have been watching all these videos about the bliss. Even walking, waking up in the middle of the night and checking YouTube for more videos. <laughs> so obsessed with it right now. Boy, I tell you, when you've got a if you've been on a cruise before, not new cruisers don't know this. New cruisers go through that, you know, countdown, but it's not the same for a new cruiser. Uh, new cruisers countdowns for a, for a first time cruise are probably half panic, <laughs> half excitement. But for someone who's been on at least one cruise or more, the countdown to a cruise is like it's a big deal. Uh, if you've been cruising before and you love going on a cruise, uh, the countdown to your next one is just all consuming. Uh, you start thinking in terms of uh, how many how many more Wednesdays are there between now and when I'm on that ship? Oh, there's only three Wednesdays left. There's only two Thursdays left. Oh, there's only one Sunday left, and I'm on the cruise. You start doing this. Uh, it's insane. Uh, you can't wait. The countdown is a big deal. And here's Debbie looking for videos in the middle of the night. <laughs> Can't wait. Silo, the 360 bits are great. <laughs> the 360 uh, is around. Jim Thomas is saying it's 87 in Anderson, California today. I want to say hi to all and a big hi to Bruce today. Jim, how are you, buddy? Welcome back to the show. It's great to have you. And uh, that sounds like pretty good weather, 87 degrees in Anderson, California. Man, that is pretty nice. 20 degrees warmer than we are. Uh, it's pleasant here. Nice there. Uh, Leslie, your store doesn't have traveling alarm clocks for sale, even though there's a clocks section. Yes, Leslie, I'm not quite sure um, what to make of that, except I will say that the merchandise available is not my merchandise. I don't have boxes of this stuff in my house that I send these guys and then they make it. It's their inventory. And so there are times where they have inventory in stock for wall clocks, desk clocks, or what have you. And there are times they don't. I'm going to guess that uh, about October, uh, September, October, November, there will be clocks available for that Christmas time frame this is just me guessing can't guarantee it but i kind of think that's what how i'd run this business they know through their statistics what sells when uh throughout the year of course t-shirts are a kind of a year-round thing hoodies more in the fall summer a uh, fall and winter of course tank tops in the summer um but clocks i guess i'm guessing clocks and 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 uh alarm clocks wall clocks more of a gift item for Christmas time. So maybe that's why at the moment they're not available. But I can't say for sure. Uh, I'm new to this, as you know. And uh, I'm just adding logos as quick as I can to put out as much variety as I can. And then I post photos uh, of these uh, models artificially wearing these shirts on uh, Twitter, um, Facebook, Instagram, um, you know, anywhere I can to put the word out to all of my subscribers and casual followers and anybody that here's some stuff, you know, and uh, you never know where the next order comes from and, and how it comes together. But so far, the best selling items have been the coffee mugs and the t-shirts. A couple of travel mugs have sold. A hoodie has sold already. Uh, and so uh, it's a bit of a variety at this point. It's early days. Uh, we'll see how it goes, uh, you know, as the weeks and months go by um, and as I keep adding logos to the to the store. Uh, Paul Wilgus, Leslie, good idea. I get up in the middle of the night and uh, look for uh, look for uh, product and clocks. Yeah, Paul Wilgus. Will, Wilgus, watching your show is my biggest sign. It's the biggest sign I need a cruise. <laughs> If I'm watching Bruce, uh, you know, on that live stream of his, uh, I, I'm desperate for information about cruising, uh, any information about cruising. I talk to other people about cruising. 
that's a sign I need to go on a cruise. Yeah, I, I hear you there. Uh, you know, I, I think most people are, are there's the sign that they need to, that they need to go on the cruise is they just got off the last one. They got off the ship and they're thinking, I got to go on another cruise. I haven't even booked one. I got to book a cruise right now. Come on. Absolutely. Debbie, watching your show every day makes me want to book another cruise. Jim Thomas waking up. <laughs> Bob Hollis, whenever I see a buffet. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You see a buffet go, I got to get on a cruise. There's a buffet over there. I want to go on a cruise ship buffet. Oh, man. Sea Keeper, you need a cruise when you open the front door. First thing, uh, first time in the morning, and you can smell sea air, and you don't even live near the shore. <laughs> yeah, you need a cruise when you're in the kitchen, and you turn the water on to make a pot of coffee, and you see the water flowing. And you go, I need a cruise. Uh, there's water here. Oh man, Leslie, thank you, Paul. Uh, Tracy Dunlap, when I uh, when I uh, when I get of it, when I think of a cruise, man, uh, I'm, ju I'm just I'm just trying to read this uh, message here. There's a bit of a typo here. Uh, <laughs> when I well, when I get off of a cruise, there's the word I'm looking. For. When I get off a cruise in Miami, then start heading home through the Miami traffic. I know right then I need to book another cruise right. Now, that's right. If you're fighting that Miami traffic, you're sitting there going, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm on an expressway with five lanes of traffic stuck. There's five lanes over here. And uh, all I'm hearing is the news of the day when I could be uh, on a cruise ship. What, what am I doing? Why am I, why am I not on a cruise ship? What's, what's wrong with me? <laughs> Silo, 185 days out uh, and already thinking of the next one. After that cruise, uh, feeling a near uh, feeling a near facing haven suite, <laughs> a rear feeling a rear facing haven suite. There you go, awesome stuff. Cam Wilson hey everyone. I'm early today. Cam, you're here. How you doing, buddy? The question of the day: How do you know when it's time for you to go on a cruise? What's the sign you're looking for? Is is there a sign? Something trigger it? What is it? Is something happening that? Uh, you, you get up and you tie your shoelace and you go, that's it. I got to book a cruise. I've had enough of this. What is it, Cam? Tell us. Peter Heckema, what's up with the uh, Royal uh, Caribbean mugs behind you? Uh, is there a story in our future? Ah, yes. I knew. I, knew, I wasn't going to mention these. I, I thought, you know, I just, I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll just pop them in. I'll just drop them in there. Say nothing. And sure enough, I knew someone would mention, what's up with the set? The set has changed. Uh, because, you know, why stare at this all the time when you could look at other stuff, right? Well, uh, not really a story other than uh, we were on the Explorer of the Seas for our, our cruise out of Bayonne, New Jersey, down to uh, Maritime, uh, Maritime, to, to the Caribbean and back. And uh, Jen and I uh, had brought on board um, a bunch of, I brought a bunch of cola on board, soda. My, uh, my uh, you know, my champagne of colas, my caffeine-free Diet Coke. I brought, uh, I think I brought three cases of this stuff on board. It's an eleven-day trip, you know, so that's that's limiting me to three and a half cans a day. There's twenty-four hours in a day, you know. That's like eight hours to drink one of these. I would have to get more. Anyway, uh, uh, we realized when we, you know, got on board and uh, we unpacked and uh, I put these in my fridge. Uh, we didn't have any, uh, sport containers with us. We didn't, we didn't bring any from home. And so I thought, well, you know what we could do? Why don't we just go downstairs to the store? You know, they got the shopping level down there. And why don't we find a, uh, an Explorer of the Seas, uh, logoed, uh, unit. And this will be a souvenir item. We'll, we'll use it now. And then we take them home as souvenirs. And that's how that went. But now <laughs> I've taken these on princess cruises <laughs> because those cost us, I think, eight bucks each or more. I can't, I can't remember if it was eight or twelve. <laughs> they're expensive, but they're great because they're massive. Let me let me show you this thing. This thing's huge. I mean, look at the size of my noggin here in this thing. This thing's massive. Here's my can of cola just to give you some scale. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> I can get two and a half of these in one of these. I love this thing. Of course, it has its own straw. And, uh, you know, every morning we have our uh, our room steward uh, bring in a bucket of ice. So 
you know, I, uh, I unscrew the lid and load this thing up with ice cubes, pour in my uh, two and a half cans of caffeine free, and I'm heading for the spa. And this baby with the, uh, with the it's got a sponge kind of uh, exterior to it here, which is acts as an insulator somewhat. I mean, this is, this is a cheap plastic container. This is not a real thermal type, uh, you know, mug. Uh, but it can hold a lot of liquid. And what I like about it is, um, you know, it's durable. If you drop it, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's got the your own straw that you're using. You wash them out. You use it again. And uh, take it in with the into the uh, steam room or into the su dry sauna and enjoy. And uh, I'll walk around the deck of the ship with one of these guys. And, uh, you know, if I, if I find that, I've, uh, that I'm kind of out, of my colas, I'll dump whatever's left out and I'll rinse it out. I'll head to a water fountain or I'll go into the buffet, go to the water station, and I'll unscrew that cap, grab some ice, and uh, and uh, load it up with water and walk around the ship with a big container of water. I'm always hydrated. Fantastic. Haven't lost it yet. That's a good sign. So that's why it's there. That, that's really, no, it's just there for decoration, actually. Um, I was thinking about that the other day, going, Bruce, why don't you have more stuff out? about going on a cruise you've got the little little room card there and uh, you got those two and i and i i don't know if i have any other room cards left i don't know where they are they're they're, they're buried somewhere if i've kept them and uh, i'd bring them out and show them to you but i don't know where they are uh let's see here uh, uh <laughs> okay wilson's going hmm he's advertising for royal caribbean now coincidence or is he just trying to fool us? After all, he talks about the MSCC side all the time in a very bad, negative way. And isn't he a shill for the uh, Norwegian Cruise Line people? And now he's been slamming uh, Norwegian with the sun. He's been nailing those guys. Uh, maybe uh, I, I, we know who's paying this guy. <laughs> Pamela Jordan, 235 days until our third cruise. It'll be our second on the Oasis of the Sea. And when it works, it works. Why change it? Fantastic. Pamela, Samantha Farmer, Royal Caribbean is who we will use for cruisefulltime.com. There you go. Samantha got her plug in today. Rita Freeman, good morning from sunny Sydney. One week today and then three months in the Mediterranean. One week will be on the Oceania to the Greek islands. So looking forward to it. Oh, that is awesome stuff. One week today, then three months uh, in the Mediterranean. Oh, man. Oh, man. One week could be on the ocean. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Rita, you were killing me. That's fantastic. I love it. Uh, give us a report about that cruise. Tell us how it went. Absolutely. Nancy Nolan. Hi, Bruce and everyone. Uh, the yuckies are, are with us today. The yuckies. Pouring rain and 52 here in in Reading, Massachusetts. Reading. It's pronounced Reading. Fantastic. Well, not fantastic. I'm sorry. It's 52, but I, I said it right. <laughs> I hope those yuckies go away, Nancy. You get rid of those. Cam Wilson, 50 days until my next cruise. Oh, I'm so excited. 50 days. Leslie Lovelies, I'll wait for clocks uh, until the fall. Uh, my next cruise is December the 1st. I'll buy something else next week. Love your School of Fish logo. Uh, you know, kind of cute, you know? Uh, what the heck? Uh, Scott Batchley, I love to book uh, another on the cruise I am on. I love to book another cruise when I'm on a cruise uh, because you get those offers. They, they'll give you offers. That's uh, that's always a good idea. Uh, Cam Wilson, it's always time for me to go on another cruise. Always time. The sign that you need to go on another cruise is when you're sad about the fact that you're getting off <laughs> off of one, <laughs> laughing out loud, it starts right there. I mean, that last day is the worst day. I mean, even the day before. You know, the day before you have to get off the ship is the worst because that whole day, everything is just going downhill. Uh, the, the hallways are slowly being populated by those darn suitcases because people are leaving the next morning. And then that departure day is a drag because you got to get off and get to your car or get to your airport or whatever and you know you're only going back to work or or back to the relatives that's all that's waiting for you at the end of that rainbow <laughs> time to book another cruise absolutely leslie lovelies they were souvenir cups because they forgot travel cups that's right i that's a true story i forgot to bring sport cups 
and we needed them. And I thought, well, it's three days until we get on the land, and I could buy one, you know, at a land price. Uh, that would have been San Juan. But I thought, well, why don't we just buy uh, buy them at the store on the ship, and you know, use them. They'll use them, and they'll be souvenirs. So that's what we did. They had more than one style available, but we went with this style. But whatever. Uh, loves to travel. Hi, I'm late. It's 48 and raining. Oh, what's what's what are we talking about? What what is it? loves to travel? This will come as a shock, but we're talking about cruising. And here's the topic of the day. Um, what what is the signal or the sign that tells you it's time for you to go on a cruise? Is is there is there one thing that has to happen? One telltale sign that just triggers it that goes, makes you go, that's it. I've had it. I, I got to book a cruise right now. I need a cruise, baby. Uh, that's what we've been sharing here as we've been talking a little bit. Uh, Leslie loves to travel. How do you know when you need a cruise vacation? You see, there's she. She said it in such a concise way, made me look like a buffoon. But hey, what can I say? I, I'm just a host. Uh, Leslie, uh, thank you. She says, uh, Peter Heckema. I know there was a story there somewhere. I know. <laughs> I knew, I knew there was a story there. There was a story, yeah. The idiot forgot his sport mugs at home and had to buy him on the ship. That, that's why, but you know, they're a nice souvenir. I mean, you know, makes me, reminds me of the uh, ship. PJ Drayton is here, beautiful spring day here in Omaha. Trees and daffodils are blooming, uh, only in the low 60s, but after this winter, it feels like we're in the tropics, right on. Uh, I noticed uh, just outside my window yesterday, dandelions are popping up here <laughs> yeah dandelion season the weeds survive the winter they know how to do that nothing kills those darn things oh my goodness charles jordan laugh out loud and we're already talking about our next cruise yes we are leslie saying i'm cruising on december the first but i'm feeling guilty about canceling a cruise four months later but the itineraries are almost exact there you go um i've got some signs here for you that it's time for a cruise but let me ask you a question first to get you guys uh, thinking i'm thinking about a meet and greet uh, i want to get together and have a meet and greet um and i want to do a cruise uh, i'm thinking of uh, uh, miami or florida as a departure location might be miami fort lauderdale um the question is uh what ship should i be thinking about that would attract most of you to a meet and greet cruise. Uh, and would it be, let's say, let's say it was in November, just, just to pick a month, it was say November. After Thanksgiving, let's suppose, kind of that window between Thanksgiving and Christmas where the prices are cheap, uh, cheaper. Um, is there a ship that I should be thinking about to, uh, to uh, approach for a meet and greet cruise as a group? for us and what do you think it should be uh which one and and why so i'll throw that at you and see what you guys think and we'll kind of go from there pamela jordan the only sign i need is that i woke up this morning that's the only sign i need i woke up i need a cruise darn it <laughs> where's my coffee where's my cruise ship i want to go <laughs> uh, uh <laughs> charles jordan yeah he wasn't on a ship laughing out loud she wasn't even on a ship Rita Freeman, same here, Pamela. I just woke up. I got to get on a cruise right now. That's it. Those Again, if you're new to this channel and you have no idea what it's like to be on a cruise because you haven't been on a cruise before, this is what happens to you. I'm, we're, we're, we're dealing with an affliction here. We're dealing with an addiction. Uh, we're addicted to cruising. And uh, these are the signs. These are the telltale signs uh, that we've been on one and we got to get on another one right now. And uh, whether we've been on one or 10 or 20, it doesn't matter. Got to get on another cruise. Got to get on a cruise. I love going on cruises. Cruises is great. They have these buffets. They have food all the time. Uh, you don't have to do dishes. You don't have to worry about laundry. I, I, I can go see a show every night. I, I, I go to the casino in the evening. I, 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 can, I can walk on the promenade deck and not do anything. Oh, I got to have it. I got to. We're addicted. We're just hooked. We're hooked. This is, these, are, these are signs right here. Uh, Jim Thomas, I know it will be time for a cruise when Deb Emanuel uh, tells me it's time to get my butt going. <laughs> you know it, Jim. There, yeah, there you go. Seakeeper, I will not make your life difficult. Any ship but one of Carnival's Klingon <laughs> barges. <laughs> Uh, any one of those Klingon barges of the damned, let's go. 
You're not making my life difficult at all, Zeekeeper. Not at all. <laughs> You're making it so easy. It's fantastic. Debbie Manuel, friendly reminder, JT, get your passport. Get your passport. Friendly reminder. Charles Jordan, I haven't had it this bad since I met my wife. Laughing out loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no rest, no rest for the innocent. Oh, no. <laughs> I love it. All right. Well, here are seven signs that you need a cruise. Um, these are in the good. Now, I want to credit who, who, where I got this from. I read this today. I read these uh, pointers today from a Cruise Critic. I was just looking on it. I found it, and a lady by the name of Dory Saltzman wrote it. She's a senior editor over there, and uh, these are the seven high highlights. And I, I laugh, and I thought this is this is true. The, the, you know, any one of these could set it off. But the first one that she threw up was uh, price drop. You're watching a cruise, a cruise ship, an itinerary, whatever it is, and all of a sudden uh, you wake up the one day, and like in my case, you go to vacations to go.com, see how things are going, and you see this cruise that you've been looking at for weeks. And all of a sudden, it's 400 bucks cheaper than it was yesterday. Price drop. That's a sign. That's a big sign. It might be time to book this one because you've been dreaming about it. And all of a sudden, boom, 400 smackers per person, $800 cheaper. Uh, book now. Uh, that might be a sign that it's time to book a cruise. Uh, let's see here. Uh, number two, free perks have just been added. A whole bunch of freebies have been added. Maybe it's a drink package. Maybe it's free tipping. Maybe it's the, the charges, port charges, uh, and taxes. Could be a free internet package along with additional stuff. Who knows? Uh, but all of a sudden, free perks. They're throwing free perks at us. Uh, that might be the sign that I think I should book this thing. Uh, number three, you, you love a ship. There's a ship you love, and you've been on it once, twice, three times, and uh, you'd love to go on her again. And all of a sudden, the ship is going to a new itinerary. It's got a new itinerary, and there are new ports of call. You've always wanted to go to these ports of call, and you can now do it on your favorite cruise ship. Bingo. There you go. That There's a sign right there. It might be time to just stop the presses and grab this thing and go. That might be the sign. Uh, the other one is uh, uh, cruise withdrawal just hit you. <laughs> I think we've been talking about that all show. <laughs> 34 minutes of it. Yeah, withdrawal. I, I, I need a fix, man. I need a hit. I need a hit. I need a hit now. I got to get a cruise. It's killing me. This withdrawal is just too much. I can't stand it. Uh, then there's the other one. Uh, I need a break now. Uh, now, that one can cover a, a whole variety of topics. I need a break now. It might be work. It, it might be the significant other. Uh, it might be uh, an, an in-law, uh, 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 a relative coming to town, uh, or someone who just left town. <laughs> someone came into town, they're gone now, and you've had enough. You're at the breaking point. I can't stand it anymore. I've kept my yap shut the whole time. I haven't said a word about anything. I, I need a cruise. I got to get away. Uh, that might be the reason. <laughs> or someone's coming. Yeah, someone's coming. Uh, you know someone's coming. And you know when they like to get there. And you've got to be gone. You've got to be out of town. You can't be there. And you've got to have a darn good reason to be out of town. Well, one darn good reason to be out of town is you're on a cruise ship. I think that's a heck of a good reason to be out of town. Oh, man. <laughs> now, this one here, uh, this next one, I was thinking about uh, one of my viewers. I haven't seen him lately, but he comes around from time to time. And he, uh, he has a quirky work schedule. So sometimes he watches me on a rerun. So if, if you're watching me on the rerun, uh, it's Mark the Lost Traveler, who I'm going to say hi to. How you doing, Mark the Lost Traveler? I miss you. Uh, here, here, this one's for you, okay? It's not specifically you, you, but I thought of you when I saw this one. It's uh, uh, first. It's a two-parter. Uh, the first part is you're looking to propose. You, you got this gal, and you're crazy about her, and you're looking to propose to her in a special setting, and you want to do it on a cruise ship because there are a lot of videos out there about – you know, young men who've proposed to their wives to me uh, on a cruise because they figure, well, she's on a cruise with me. She's not going to say no. <laughs> the second half of that one, though, is you just got divorced. And that's where what I made me think about Mark the Lost Traveler. You just got divorced. 
Get on a cruise, baby. Live it up. You're on your own. Drink all you want. Eat when you want. Sleep all you want. Do whatever you want. She's gone. You're free. <laughs> what can I say? I was thinking of Mark. <laughs> Uh, uh, Jen is not here, by the way. <laughs> In case anyone's curious, where's Jen? Uh, why? Why is he so crazy? Jen's not here. She's she's out. Okay. Uh, the last point would be, uh, what's the tipping point to uh, a sign, a real a real sign that it's time to book a cruise? The weatherman just told you ten more inches of snow is coming. That, that's the sign. Ten inches. Of snow is on the way, uh, with more coming after that. And that's a sign. Get a cruise. Get out of town. Hit the road. Get out. <laughs> so there's a few uh, friendly little uh, tips, uh, little indications that uh, might uh, let you know that yeah, it might be time to, uh, you know, it might be time to get on a cruise ship and get out of here. Yes, indeed. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on here. Um, Oh, we've got uh, we got some comments coming in about what ship should we do a uh, meet and greet on. Uh, uh, let's see, Charles Jordan. I haven't had it this bad since I met my wife. Then Leslie, uh, seeing viewers who joined the live show during their cruise, a big compliment to Bruce. Uh, I love that. Uh, I love it when they when they pop in and say hi to us. They're already on the middle of a ship somewhere. That's awesome. Bob Hollis, Symphony of the Seas. He's thinking we should do Symphony of the Seas. Brand new ship. Um, all the toys. Uh, the, the only thing, Bob, I worry about is the cost. I don't know if there's going to be a cheap cruise available on the Symphony of the Seas for like a year. Uh, it's expensive. Pamela Jordan, uh, you should think about the Oasis of the Seas. This December 16th, this year, I'll be there. Laugh out loud. It gets back just in time for Christmas. <laughs> there you go. Pamela Jordan, there's something for everyone on that ship. Uh, Paul Wilgus, uh, I read that article too. Uh, Leslie Lovelies, meet and greet on the newest ship built there you go make make it the newest ship built peter heckema booked on the symphony november 24th looking forward to it there you go he's going cam wilson i have terrible uh cruise withdrawal it happens before i can eat before i even leave the ship i get the withdrawals yeah i i know it i i hate walking off the ship for the last time i can't stand it i'm pulling my suitcase and ugh, I, you know if i gotta carry on or or i, I think in the last cruise i was on yeah, the last the last cruise I did was a princess cruise out of Los Angeles, and we had rented a vehicle uh, for our trip. I may have mentioned this. We drove from Calgary in a rental van, unlimited mileage. Got a super deal for like a three week rental, super cheap. And we took a van, and uh, it had those fo those fold and go storage seats, like this Dodge Caravan. You just fold the seats right into the floor, so the back of the van was just like a, just like a flat. We had our suitcases laying there, and we drove down to the States and met some friends in Phoenix and uh, spent a little time in uh, in the Palm Springs, Palm Desert area where we used to live. And then we had this cruise, and uh, we parked the vehicle right at the uh, parking lot right by the cruise ship, and we just let us sit there. And it was cheaper to, uh, to do it that way, pay to park it, even though we were renting it because we had this package deal on the rental, but the, the cost was – it's like $35 a day for the darn thing. It was so cheap. Canadian money I'm talking about, too, for the rental. Anyway, so it uh, came time to leave the ship. Uh, we decided the, the, you know, the night before, we'll just, we'll just keep the bags in our room, and we'll walk out of the ship with our bags. Because once we're off the gangplank and through customs, we come out of the uh, terminal building there, the, the, uh, the building, uh, right across the street is, is the parking lot for the van. So uh, uh, Jennifer and I, we crossed the street with our, with you know, pulling our bags, and within 200 feet, 300 feet, we were, you know, in the parking lot. I, I kind of told her, you stay right here with all the luggage. I'll go and get the vehicle because it's 200 yards away, of course. I'll go and get the vehicle, and I'll bring it around and come and get you with the luggage. That's exactly how we did it. Perfect. But, oh, depressing. Oh, it's depressing doing that because you're walking off the ship with all your stuff, and uh, it's over. The cruise is over. And, of course, you, you're, in the, uh, you're in the parking lot, and, and what, who do you see? You see people coming in, getting ready to go on a cruise. 
Hey, look at their faces. They're like this guy. They're like this. We're going on the cruise. There's our ship right there. And here I am going the other direction. I'm not looking like that at all. <laughs> it's depressing. It is depressing. I agree. Uh, Nina Frank is here. Hi, Bruce and all. What's the topic tonight? Nina, the topic is uh, what's what are the signs that 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 work for you that tell you it's time for you to book a cruise? What is it? Is it too much snow in Sweden? Cold weather? Uh, is a relative coming to town? Uh, what is the sign that you need to book a cruise right now? What is the sign? Tell me what's going on there. Leslie is lovely. I really need a cruise when I watch Bruce's show. <laughs> I, I never met. I never met a bigger pusher. And I'm from New York, man. I've never met a bigger pusher of cruises than this guy. <laughs> It's not like I own cruise ships, you know. I don't, I don't get anything when you go on a cruise. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes, it is tough. Leslie's saying, uh, uh, mentioned last day, cruise blues yesterday. Oh, yeah, Cam, Cam mentions it. We mentioned it. Leslie, uh, hi, Nina. When do you know you need a cruise vacation? That's the topic. When do you know? What's the sign, Nina? What's the sign? Wendy Thompson, hi Bruce, hi everyone. Short sleeves outside, uh, anything out of Florida so we can drive to the port. Yes, yes. Uh, Mina saying, thanks, thanks, Leslie. Uh, yeah, yeah, thanks. Tracy Dunlap went on Carnival Victory in February uh, for Invicta Watch Cruise. Invicta Watch Cruise. And wasn't looking forward to Carnival, but it was pretty good. There you go. Uh, that's good to hear. I'm glad you had a good cruise there. Fantastic, Tracy. Uh, you know when you when you get when you get the uh, you get the surprise cruise and it's all good. Fantastic, beautiful, wonderful, 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 wonderful. Nina Frank, looking uh, YouTube clips for uh, eight hours straight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you're when you're sitting there watching videos of other people taking cruises, uh, that that's bad. That that's that. You know you've got a problem. You know you're addicted and you you, you need a fix. Because you're sitting there watching all these other people take cruises, oh my! You're just, you're you know it's your inner self, your inner cruiser is just begging you, come on, man, book a book a vacay with me, get me out of here. I'm stuck in this body watching YouTube videos all the time. I can't stand it. Please help me. <laughs> uh, Wendy Thompson used to be in January after the Christmas rush. And now we'll sue be Florida residents. Wendy is taking drastic measures to combat the symptoms of cruise withdrawal. Uh, one way to do it is move to Florida so that at least you're within driving distance of a cruise ship rather than one or two or three flights. That's a darn good way to help with the, uh, you know, cr the cravings and minimize the, the tensions because, you know, you can always say it's like, it's like, uh, you like, uh, like a drinker trying to stop drinking or a smoker trying to stop smoking, thinking to themselves, well, you know, I, I got the booze. The booze is just over there. Anytime I want it, I can always have one anytime I want it, but I don't need one. And, and the cigarettes are, are over there. I can always have a cigarette if I need a cigarette. They're just over there, but I don't need one. I'm okay. Well, the cruise ships, they're, they're just over there, but I don't need a cruise right now. I'm okay. I, I know I can drive to a cruise. I, I'm okay. I don't have to worry about booking airplanes or anything like that. I, if I need a cruise, I can get on a cruise real fast because I can just turn that key and I can be driving to a cruise ship anytime I want. So I, I'm going to be okay. I, I'm all right. I'm all right. Yeah, I'll be all right. What'd you say? Cruise? Cruise? Yeah, I want a cruise. Let's go to cruise. Come on, let's go to cruise. Uh, it doesn't always work. <laughs> and when your spouse says, hey, let's go to the casino. They got a buffet. Buffet? No, not a buffet. Oh, the only buffet I want to go on is a cruise buffet. Don't do this to me. You're killing me. I wonder how many marriages break down because of the cruise bus. I wonder. Or how many are saved? You ever thought about that? Hey, how many marriages are saved because of the cruise? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I guess, you know, uh, you talk to someone who has never been on a cruise before, you, you, especially relatives. You, you talk, I'm not talking about like a formal situation. You're at a cocktail party and you're, you're talking to someone about cruising. That's, that's light conversation, very, very non-confrontational. You talk to a buddy of yours or a, or a brother or a sister, you know, where the filters are off, <laughs> no filters, <laughs> and you're the cruiser, and, and your relative is not the cruiser, and, and you're talking to your non-cruising relative about the fact that you need to go on a cruise, and they don't get it, okay? 
have you had that conversation? Uh, that that that's it goes something like this. It's something like the uh, the non cruiser says, ah, oh, jeez, cruise, ah, why, why do you want to do that for? You? He's going to get seasick and uh, you're going to be crammed in like sardines at a sardine can. And and they don't get it that uh, that uh, you're on a you're on a ship uh, with your better half, and it's the best thing for a couple because the couple can get away from each other. <laughs> Without them having to say it to each other, they don't have to actually say it to each other, but they know it's true. They know that, wow, she can do what she wants to do it, and I can do what I want to do it. And she says, he he can do what he wants to do it, and I can do what, what I want to do. And neither of us are mad at each other because, you know, he doesn't have to come to the art auction or or or, or I don't have to go to the to the steam room in the spa every time he wants to go. I can just stay in the balcony and read a book. And he's thinking, oh, I can just go for a walk on the on the uh, promenade deck and just get some fresh air. And, and she's going to have a cup of tea in the, uh, you know, in the library and read a book or whatever. It, it's perfect. But the relatives at home uh, with the, with, well, without the filter, oh, they're going to give it to you. They're just all, because they don't know. They have, they have no idea. And, and if they were on a cruise, uh, they too would realize the liberation of it and the, the, uh, the freedom of it. Uh, but then again, you know, maybe it's a good thing your brothers and sisters or some of your key friends or co-workers, certain personalities that you know, uh, maybe it's a good thing they aren't cruisers because if they were, <laughs> they might be bugging you to go on a cruise and they might want to hang out with you all the time on a cruise and you might not want that. So, you know, sometimes things are better left, uh, you know, alone and let sleeping dogs lie and you just kind of, kind of go with what, you know, go with the flow and enjoy, you know, enjoy, and, and let the critics be the critics about, you know, how stupid cruising is and uh, let them think that. And, uh, you know, off you go and uh, you don't have to tolerate them on the cruise, right? So, you know, these are thoughts, uh, I guess. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, <laughs> Regal Princess, Nina Frank is saying, Regal Princess looks pretty good, eh? Uh, you know, Lucas, I mean, they're on that ship. It looks nice, right? It does look good. Peter Heckema, a Cuba cruise would be interesting. Uh, you know, not for, I don't think I'd want to do a Cuba cruise. I, I don't think I'd be interested in a Peter, uh, in a Cuba cruise. Iskew Park, a high Bruce, a high fellow suburbs. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's Iskew in Thunder Bay, Ontario. It's plus seven in Celsius and it's a bit cloudy, but it's still melting weather. But that's no goodbye. That's no Rita, uh, saying I go to, uh, I go to circular K. I go to circular K and see what ship might be, uh, in it great to see them and wishing you are on them okay uh very interesting uh, wendy thompson uh let's uh, let's see sit in a car for uh, 12 hours to see people who don't come to see you or uh fly to miami and get on a ship hmm what to do what to do yeah these are toughies yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> Leslie Lovelies, the cruising world has haters. They have haters. Uh, well, you know, there's haters, and then there are those who are not informed, uh, or those are who are not aware of the the possibilities and the potential that life has to offer. Uh, you know, we can think about it that way. You know, like. There, you know, there's those, and then there's the idiots. Uh, you know, I'm just uh, saying, you know, I mean, whatever title you want to give them, you know, uh, haters. Well, there may be, maybe haters, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, uh, Tammy Ray, hello everybody. Hello, Tammy Ray. Welcome to the show. Topic of the show is what is the sign that tells you it's time for you to go on a cruise? What what is it? What's the sign? Is this is it a relative coming to town you don't want to see? Is it a relative you're supposed to go see, but you could take a cruise instead and get out of it? Uh, what's the 10 inches of snow coming next week? What's the sign? Is there one? That's what we're talking about. Oh, KP is here. Uh, the husband of Kelly. How you doing? How you doing? Welcome back. We're talking about going on a cruise. What's the sign that makes you want to book a cruise? And the other question of the day, part two, is the meet and greet cruise. If we're going to do a meet and greet cruise, uh, we're traveling with Bruce. It's going to have a group together. What ship should we do it on for, let's say, this November after Thanksgiving? Is that doable? Between Thanksgiving and Christmas, if we were to do a meet and greet, what ship should we do it on? I'm thinking Caribbean something, but, uh, you know, because I'm thinking leaving out of Florida. 
But what are your thoughts? You guys can throw me your ideas. Uh, what ship? What itinerary? Uh, what island should we check out? Uh, and why? Is there a shore excursion that is just second to none that we should be thinking about? Uh, uh, what about that new one in, uh, was it St. Martin? I think I did the video, uh, the, did the show about a week or so ago. It was about the new, uh, the new zip lines. Uh, they have the steepest zip line in the Caribbean. Should we be doing that? <laughs> <laughs> or are we a little uh, too mature for that kind of a thing? <laughs> I, I am. <laughs> I don't think I'd be doing it. Uh, let's see. Regal Princess. Leslie loves you saying, why don't we do the Regal Princess? There's one. Tammy Ray. Oh, man. If I wasn't, if it wasn't for my job, I, I would love to go. Oh, I'd just love to go. Uh, KP uh, is saying three weeks after you take your first and can't afford to go again right away. Then you know. You, you know you need a cruise because you can't. Hey, you just had one a little while ago. You need another one so bad. Oh, I hear you there. You got that right. Leslie Lovins, I think they continue your beverage package on Princess K. See, there's there's, there's a thing. And then Nina Frank found a good deal on the Regal for the 25th of November. See, there, there's, there's. See, that's got to get your juices flowing out there, folks. Think about that. Tammy Ray, I'm already booked on two cruises. Would be hard to book another. I mean, I already got two. I mean, I want to do another one. Uh, three. Or what? What am I made of? What am I made of? Sea legs? What? What's that all about? <laughs> I don't know. It's just one of those things. I'm kind of thinking that's the timing, perhaps, for a cruise. Uh, I was thinking maybe October, but I was also thinking like November, just before Christmas. And then I was thinking of another one. Maybe a second cruise would be uh, sort of late January, maybe something like that, early February. Still got some deals in the Caribbean, perhaps, you know, depending on the ship and the itinerary. Maybe that's where you go. Iskew Park saying both with both my wife and I retired, we get the itch to cruise, uh, go to resort. Uh, when the bank shows we got enough disposable cash to go, laugh it out loud. Got to take it back. Take back those empties, Iskew, you know, offer to take your neighbors back too. Hey, you don't need those empties. I'll take them back for you. Uh, you know, add up the cash. You betcha. Tammy Ray, I would go. Uh, all the time if I could. I would go all the time. I don't blame you there. Absolutely, Demery. It's the flights that are costly to me, those darn flights. That's why I was thinking after uh, Thanksgiving, because after Thanksgiving, the flights will drop because, you know, they go right sky high during Thanksgiving holiday time. And then it's kind of quiet for a while, and then it picks up at Christmas. There's that gap. Might be just right. Leslie Lovies, I, I can't, Nina. I'm booked on the uh, reincarnated Titanic, a.k.a. MSC Seaside, <laughs> on December the 1st. Should we go on the Seaside? Uh, should we do that? Oh, my goodness. We could do the one before for with Leslie, and then she can do a back-to-back, -back and we can wave at her as we're getting off, and she can be crying while we're leaving her behind on the ship. She's got to tolerate it for another week. It wouldn't be that bad, would it? It couldn't be that bad. It can't be that bad. Oh, gosh, no. Tammy Ray, I need to live in Florida, Tammy's saying. Yeah, Wilson, I need to live in Florida as well. That's right. Yeah, I, you know what I need? I need to win the lottery. Uh, that's what I need. <laughs> then it doesn't matter. I can then hire my own private jet and just take me to Florida whenever I need to go on a cruise. Uh, yeah, I can live wherever I want. Uh, just win the lottery. It's so simple. Just pick the right numbers. Uh, Tammy Ray, that sounds like a stinky plan. <laughs> Back to back cruises on the seaside for uh, for Tammy. Uh, yeah, I, I, that might not work too well for Tammy. That might be a bit too much. Uh, she's already going on the one cruise as it is, and we're all crossing our fingers that uh, things will be settled down and all in good good working order. Iskew Park, I, I bet you, Bruce, uh, uh, tried to get a group cruise on seaside. They'll quickly say it's full. Laugh out loud. Yeah, sorry, Mr. Farmer. Yeah, yeah, we know about you. Uh, Traveling with Bruce. Ah, sir, we're booked up. We're all full here. No room here. No. I put that ad on CNN, uh, 439 for the balcony. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, Bruce, we're all full up. There's no, uh, uh, no, no, no. Atlanta, Atlanta, call Atlanta. Get a ad in the Constitution, uh, 429 for a balcony on the seaside. Yeah, yeah, the seaside. No, sorry, uh, sorry, traveling with Bruce. Uh, we're all booked up. Uh, no, no room at the end for you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Leslie, love that one. Uh, Nina Frank, Anthem, I heard, is really good and wonderful. Has a wonderful spa, Bruce. But uh, Royal Caribbean is expensive. If we go as a group, it might be cheaper. Um, you know, the thing about booking a group tour, it might not necessarily be cheaper for the rate, but you get some perks, group group perks, because the larger the group, 
the more power you have, buying power for other stuff. And sometimes you can get a room credit. Sometimes you can get a, a special event or two put together, all depending on how large the audience is. So that would be interesting. Uh, Seakeeper, there are decent rates on Symphony of the Seas at the end of January 2019. Are we talking about U.S. Thanksgiving or Canadian Thanksgiving? Makes no difference to me. I celebrate both. Uh, I was thinking after U.S. Uh, Thanksgiving because that's uh, that's the holiday where there is a, uh, a, a little mini, it's a mini shoulder season for airfare, uh, hotels, cruises, because there's that drop off right after that uh, that week or two or three, and then just before we ramp up to Christmas, because cruises get expensive right around New Year's, Christmas, New Year's, and then in January they drop again. So I am thinking of of sort of November ish, and I'm thinking of end of uh, middle to end of January, February ish, somewhere in there. So both are uh, both are in play. Might be one, might do both, might do two, might do might do two cruises. Uh, one in November, one in January, February, something like that. And then uh, think about, you know, from there. Because what I would love to do is to be able to uh, put a group together, uh, a size, a decent size group, where we can get some nice perks on that down time, that, that quiet time. Um, and um, I would love to work uh, an arrangement with the cruise, uh, the cruise ship and the cruise line to, uh, to do my uh, live streams right from the ship right at sea uh that would be kind of kind of cool and if i can do it with a uh, uh with an audience in in tow even better that'd be kind of fun uh but then again uh, uh you know i might only do one or two of those live broadcasts out of seven days and the rest of the time uh, i'll be just shooting video and putting videos together when i get back and getting back on air again we'll have to see there's all kinds of uh, combinations and, and ways to play this uh, to play this one tammy ray let's all just win a lottery and buy our own cruise ship uh, debbie manuel two cruises freaking awesome freaking awesome debbie is saying <laughs> yeah there you go i i'm, I'm thinking of everything um because my future has got cruising involved in it uh, rather than just sitting in the living room talking about cruising, uh, I actually would like to be on the ships. And uh, so I'm thinking about that already. We're, we're plotting here. We're plotting. Jim Thomas, time to go on a cruise after my knee heals and I'm out of the brace. Got surgery at 6 a.m. tomorrow. So after that, and a passport. There you go. Good luck with that, Jim. Cross our fingers and hope it goes well. And the speedy recovery and uh, do what the physiotherapist uh, says, but not too much. And uh, build it up, and uh, yeah, you'll be ready to go in uh, no time. And uh, look out. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes, that would be nice. Uh, would be lovely to put, uh, you know, a couple of cruises together. I'd love to have, uh, at all times uh, going forward, an itinerary of cruises that I've listed where I'll be able to tell you folks, you know, we've got a cruise booked here. We've got a cruise booked here. We're now going to book a cruise here. We're going to book a cruise here. And then you folks can pick and choose. Oh, boy, meet and greet with Traveling with Bruce. Okay, great. Well, he's doing one uh, in uh, February, or he's going to do one in April, or he's going to do one next year in whatever. And uh, there might be one that just catches your eye and uh, works for the pocketbook, and bingo, we jump on it, and uh, we're on our way. So uh, you never know. Uh, as soon as I have something, I will let you know, because it's all new to me. I've not done meet and greet cruises before as a YouTuber, so uh, there's always a first time. And then hopefully there'll be a second and a third and a fourth, and we'll take it from there. Quite looking forward to the experience and um, a variety of uh, locales to uh, see, itineraries to enjoy, uh, ports to visit that uh, either I have or have not visited before. And uh, I am thinking about next year an idea of a, a repositioning cruise across the Atlantic. Uh, that would also be uh, something I would love to consider because the pricing is, is great. It's just great for repositioning. And uh, what I would try and do is, is try to figure out a, a, a sort of a combination, a combination trip that might entail, uh, uh, you know, the ship going across the other side to the Atlantic, perhaps a week on the other side uh, through some kind of an organized tour or whatever might be arranged. And then uh, the one way flight back to North America and, uh, work out uh, through a travel agent some kind of a package package deal for the whole thing uh or um work out the package deal for the cruise and perhaps a one-week uh, excursion tour of some kind 
Uh, and then, uh, you know, from there, getting back, there can be a couple of combinations. It might be it might be London Heathrow back to North America. It might be Paris. It might be Frankfurt, uh, whichever it is. And um, there might be two or three combinations of flights back to the U.S. or Canada for those of us who live in North America to return back home to and uh, see if it works out. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of uh, all kinds of ideas rather than just uh, meet me in St. Louis. <laughs> Instead of one of those, we'll, uh, we'll put it together. Um, let's see here what's going on here. Paul Wilgus, I was watching, I was watching a vlog of someone that had a group and they vlogged the whole trip. It looked like so much fun and educational. Interesting, yeah, very much so. Uh, Samantha Farmer, Bruce, just join us and live full time on a cruise. I mean, just just join us and just do that and forget everything. <laughs> I get to think about that. Uh, let's see here. Um, let's see here, Jim Thomas. My answers for tomorrow's show may be a bit uh, off if I still am groggy. Laugh it out loud. <laughs> Uh, Jim Thomas, uh, okay, the question is, uh, uh, name all the ships of uh, Norwegian Cruise Lines. And he's going to start off going 99, 98, 97. <laughs> that might be all he remembers. Uh, we'll see, Jim. We'll, we'll cross our fingers for you. We'll see what's going on if you're joining us at 8 o'clock tomorrow night or not after your surgery. Nina Frank, uh, and we all walk around with Bruce with merchandise T-shirts with Traveling with Bruce swag. We've all got our hoodies with us. We've got our shirts. We've got our uh, we've got our travel mugs. Oh my goodness, we're a we're a formidable force. Let me tell you that. Oh my gosh, uh, I I would tell you if I'm going to have a meet and greet cruise, um, I'm going to make special commemorative meet and greet traveling with Bruce T-shirts uh, for the gang. Absolutely, if there's a hundred of us going. There'll be a hundred of us wearing T-shirts. That'll be part of the package if I can pull it off. That would be fantastic. Tracy Dunlop, repositioning crews would be great. Yes, that would be really cool. Uh, that would be something I would love to do. Um, and then Iskew Park, the three things you should list before going on a cruise. Uh, one, stick, uh, pick a budget and stick to it. Two, pick the cruise ship line that fits your lifestyle, age, excursions, and so on. Three, Shop like crazy for the best deals. There you go. <laughs> well done, SQ. We take that advice for sure. Mary is here. Hi. I just got here, been busy packing for my cruise that sails on Saturday. Oh, fantastic. That's awesome, Mary. Oh, that's going to be great. Leslie Lovies, I have, uh, I have personal family friends who own a travel agency. Cheaper than the last one booked through AAA. How about that? That's good to have connections. Jim Thomas, Tokyo of the Seas. That's my answer. Uh, I just came out of knee surgery, and I'm going with Tokyo of the Seas, covering all the bases. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, Leslie is saying, take me with you, Mary. Please, Mary, I need a cruise. Take me with you. Uh, I'll be your kid. <laughs> Cam Wilson, I think Carnival fits my lifestyle. There you go. Carnival fits his lifestyle. Uh, you know, there are some uh, brand new Carnival ships that could be kind of interesting. Horizon, the Carnival Horizon is one that uh, I'm curious about that ship. It sounds pretty neat. But, uh, you know, there's Holland America. There's Princess, Royal Caribbean, Norwegian sort of. Uh, uh, of course, there's uh, there's other cruise lines that we could take a look at. Uh, who knows? Uh, yeah, no end to it. There's just no end to it. How about how about a repositioning cruise? Uh, not this fall, but next fall, from uh, Europe back to the United States. How about a cruise like that, where we get together at um, oh maybe two or three locations uh, in North America, and we we get a package deal. It includes a flight to wherever in Europe we're going to. We have a one week, uh, a one week all inclusive tour already pre-booked that we take with hotels and everything else. And we end up at a cruise ship and we take that cruise for 15, 16 days back to the U S of a and get off the ship in Florida. And we have our flights booked home from there. That that's a, a reverse Re, uh, repositioning cruise you never know uh maybe a combination river cruise 
and repositioning coming home cruise is another way, or a repositioning cruise over to Europe with a river cruise after that, and then come back. There's all kinds of oh, juggling around. I've got the wheels are spinning, and it's just a matter of dollars and timing and logistics. We shall see. Uh, Leslie Lovey's uh, saying if they pass inspection before we board, she'll consider going on carnival. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Mary saying, hey, Leslie, come and join us. Come on and join us. Peter Heckema, would be nice to hold a meet and greet the day before in a nice hotel just for people who won't be cruising. Uh, that's definitely in my uh, plans. Uh, I would want to do uh, some kind of a meet and greet, definitely uh, a day or two or three before the departure. Um, I was thinking of, uh, for my first, uh, the first one, if it was going to be a departure out of uh, Florida, if the ship is departing, say, uh, Fort Lauderdale, I would consider a meet and greet in Orlando, a meet and greet in the Tampa area the next day, and perhaps a meet and greet in the Miami area the day after that, and then the uh, a meet and greet in Fort Lauderdale the day before, and then the meet and greet on the ship itself. And that would give various groups time to come down and catch up with me. Uh, it's just a matter of logistics and timing. It might only be two meet and greets prior to. Uh, you never know. So, yeah, I'm thinking of all that, uh, all those combinations. Get to see as many of you as possible. Uh, that would be wonderful. Uh, just to be tremendous. Just tremendous. Uh, Leslie's saying, I want to marry. I want to go. Cam Wilson, that would be amazing. Uh, I wish my life was together. Uh, Debbie Emanuel, yes, Bruce, going on tour, uh, the meet and greet tour. <laughs> Doing a meet and greet tour and uh, having a T-shirt for every one of them. How about something like that? Oh, my goodness. Uh, see what we can do. Uh, you never know. The more subscribers I get, the further down the road we can take it, and you just never know. Oh, Jim Thomas is sending me a $5 donation on Super Chat. Thank you, Jim Thomas. Love it. A little green bar just popped up there. Look at that. There he is. Uh, thank you, Jim Thomas. A little bit of uh, a little bit of Creston, uh, a little Creston money. <laughs> Let's me uh, save up for my meet and greet tour. A little bit of meet and greet tour money. I love that. Uh, oh yay, GAT! She's saying, "Way to go, Jim Thomas! Thank you so much. Love the donation. Take them any way I can get them. Um, thank you so much for that. Uh, again, any of you folks who've ordered anything from my site, let me know how the items are." When you get them, I'm quite curious about the quality and uh, the, the, the t is a t-shirt to your liking or, or whatever it is you purchase, coffee mug, whatever. Uh, I'd love to I'd love to hear from you about that. Uh, I keep an eye on that. Um, the orders are, are kind of coming along. Uh, they keep coming in and i um, very grateful for folks uh, ordering some product. It does help me. Uh, it's like making a donation to my channel. I love it. And uh, thank you for all of that. Um, uh, Wendy Thompson is saying, meet and greet at Margaritaville. Here we go. We're going to Margaritaville. We're going to have a meet and greet there. Wouldn't that be fun? Leslie is saying, I need ideas for 2020 cruise in April to celebrate my 50th birthday. 50th birthday in 2020. Uh, boy, there's a, there's a repositioning cruise in that window. Uh, April, if you're thinking of something like that, then you can combine that with a bit of a European stay and uh come on back for something like that that would be a birthday you won't soon forget uh fantastic so we'll 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 scheme something about that see what we can do well fantastic folks uh, i think i'm gonna pack this up how are we doing for thumbs ups i don't even know has anyone given us a thumbs up today uh, i've got 27 thumbs ups today uh fantastic thank you all very much for that i seem to get uh, <clears throat> just a bunch more after hours as well they come in from viewers all over the place, uh, which I love. Um, let's see here. Uh, Mary uh, Krieger is saying, and continue your live with Bruce too. Uh, man, 62 degrees here. Uh, fantastic. 62 degrees, nothing wrong with that. Debbie Manuel, Caribbean is nice in April. Yes, Caribbean is very, very nice in April. Um, Mexico too. Yeah, Mexican cruise, if you want to do something like that. Leslie Lomas, extra thumbs ups. Thanks, uh, Leslie, uh, for those. Uh, any of you can spare thumbs ups. Please throw one at us, and we will uh, we'll pump up those analytic computers into YouTube and get them all popping up and whatnot and see what's going on. Um, tomorrow is Thursday, uh, two for Thursday. Tomorrow I'll be on at 5 o'clock as always, and, of course, I'll be on at 8, and uh, 8 o'clock tomorrow night, it's trivia. 
and uh, I'll come up with some topics and some subjects and, you know, brain tweezers and stuff, and uh, we'll have some fun with those. Uh, looking forward to it. If you know anyone that will enjoy the trivia show, tell them about the trivia show. Have them tune in. 8 o'clock Eastern. They've had plenty of time to get home from work if they're out east. They can catch up with us and see what's going on. Uh, Jim Thomas gave you a bonus. He sure did. Uh, Jim Thomas uh, threw us a $5 super chat today. Thank you so much, Jim. Appreciate that as always. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, to uh, any, any of you folks uh, coming up with more ideas for me regarding for uh, regarding the uh, idea of a meet and greet cruise. Uh, uh, Jim is going in for surgery tomorrow for his knee. Uh, good luck with that, Jim. Uh, we're going to cross our fingers for you. And if you're on the show tomorrow night at 8 o'clock, I'll understand if you're throwing me typos. <laughs> Turkey of the sheesh. I get it. I, I know what's going on. <laughs> we'll give you time for that medication to wear off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, uh, I'm going to pack it up and say thank you and have a pleasant evening tonight. Um, come by tomorrow at 5 o'clock and at 8 if you can, and uh, we'll talk about cruising tomorrow, and we'll do some trivia tomorrow night. This is Bruce with Traveling with Bruce here in Creston, British Columbia, three miles north of the USA border on a beautiful, sunny, gorgeous day. It's close to 70 degrees here. We love it. I'm saying uh, best wishes to all of you, and thank you for joining me today, April the 25th, 2018. Have a pleasant evening. We'll talk to you tomorrow at 5 o'clock, all about cruise ships, because I just got to go on a cruise. I can't stand it. I can't just be landlocked. I got to get on the cruise. Have a good one, everybody, and take care. See you for now. Bye-bye.